page 56, the peacock. Now, you take one look at this page and you think, oh, I'm going to skip this one. I don't need this one. I'm going on. Now, just to hold on a minute. Let's just take a look at it. It looks ugly because of all those accidentals, all those sharks. It isn't, okay? There's a note at the top of the page indicating that this song is using black notes only. Now, if there's any ugly part about this, it's the fact that you got to play the black notes because those are tricky to play. They're not as wide as the white note, the keys. It's easy to slip off, it's easy to miss, so really the ugly, uh, if there's an ugly part of this, the ugly part is you got to play black notes and those are tricky to play. So let's just take a look at it. There's a lot of repetition in this piece at the beginning in the left hand. See the F sharp? Just take it one note at a time. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. F sharp. There's an F, G, and A. I'm going to sharp each one. I just... Okay. Ooh. In the second measure you have a C sharp, D sharp, where C and D is here. If I sharp them both, I go here. So... Black notes only. <coughs> Look familiar? Mm -hmm. In the third measure, look at the notes, F sharp, and again, when you're working chords out, and it could be any number of notes in the chord, you spell out the chord, is what I call it. And that means you simply start with the bottom note of the chord, and you work and figure out each note going up to the top. So in the third measure, you have an F sharp, a G sharp, and an A sharp. Look familiar? It's the same as the first measure, except you're playing them all at the same time. <clears throat> right. And then the fourth measure is the same as the second, but it's an octave higher. So that first line is... Duh. Huh. Not hard. Now, in the second line, there's a couple of natural, which means you're going to play uh, which means you're going to be playing a white key. So it's not all black keys. So the first measure is the same as the first line first measure. This is the second line we're talking about. And then the second measure is a D natural. Third measure is the same as the first line. Third measure and a D natural. Ooh. Third line is the same as the first line. Big deal. In the fourth line, you're simply playing these chords going down. So you're starting here with the left hand, right? You got the F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and then the, the two black notes here, and then here, and here. Then in the fourth line you're doing the same notes, except the first measure isn't them all together, it's one at a time. And then it's the chords. So much for page 56. On page 57, first line is similar to that bottom line on 56, except you have a D natural now. Right? Then the second line on 57 is the same as the last line on 56. You've already played that one. And then the last line starts down here in the right hand. The group way down there. In the left hand, right hand, left hand. So this ugly looking thing really isn't so bad after all. It's just playing a lot of black notes. Now, <clears throat> there is pedal with this, but again, you leave out the pedal until you can play the thing correctly with the notes and rhythms and all that. Uh, and that means that you it's slurred. Each line is slurred, so each line is a phrase. The On page 56, the third and fourth lines is one big phrase, because that slur goes all the way to the end and doesn't end. And then on the fourth line, the slur is a continuation of the slur from line three. So the whole thing is a phrase. So that makes it interesting, huh? On page 57, the last two lines, that's one big phrase. The whole thing is one phrase, okay? How can I tell? Well, good, I'm glad you asked, I'll tell you. 
Look on 57, the first line, the last measure. The phrase line ends and points to the note, more or less, okay? But on the second line, that phrase line continues on to the end of the measure. And when they do that, that's an indication that the phrase goes on to the next measure. And so, I don't know which way you're going, but whichever, whichever that's it. If you look at the beginning, the first line on page 56, the phrase line more or less starts with the first note, right? But if you look at the last line on page 57, that phrase line starts before the first note. It's like, oh, this is a continuation of what happened before. So that tells me the last two lines on page 57 is one big phrase. Now other than that, I don't see any new symbols or anything in here to explain. They're already telling you about the stem. I already told you about the stems up and down. That's typical music notation when your hands are going crazy. The editor or author or composer or somebody telling you what they think how your hands should go. So in the first line, the stems are going down. The first measure there on 56, the stems are going down on the left hand. Next measure, they're going up, right hand. Next measure, they're pointing down, left hand. See, they also put LH and RH and whatnot in here to help you, but even without that, you could use the stems to determine which hand to play in this piece. Not all music works that way, but this piece and the pieces where the hands are going nuts, they, the, they'll usually do that. That's all I have to say. You have quarter notes and dotted half notes and a quarter rest. Occasionally, we want to hear the rest. All right. So, as far as the pedaling goes, again, when you push the pedal down, I recommend you do it right after you play the note. So there at the beginning, when you play that F sharp, immediately after, it's not the second beat, it's immediately after you play the note, push the pedal down. Okay. You're going to keep the pedal down for the whole first line, and I recommend you bring it up on beat three so we can hear the uh, one beat rest. So in the last measure on the first line, your pedal's already down, and you play the chord is two beats, one, two, and on three you lift your hand and the pedal at the same time so we get beat three as a rest. All the lines are working this way, that is all the phrases are working this way. Remember the on page 56 the third and fourth lines is one big phrase so you're going to leave the pedal down for the whole phrase. Going to blur it all up. I don't know if this really sounds like a peacock or not but uh, I'm guessing because a peacock can be very colorful and whatnot they're trying to give you some very colorful sounds. That's my guess. I could be wrong, but that's dynamics wise, MP never really gets loud to P. M, me, um, medium soft to soft, you know, mezzo piano to piano, right? At the end, you're already soft, and then they give you a decrescendo, that long arrow, so you can get really soft there. I remember at the end on beat three when the rest comes, the hands and the pedal all come up at the same time. When we play this together, I am going to do it without pedal. You can add the pedal if you want. And I recommend you play it with me maybe once or twice without the pedal because you, you need to hear the notes. You need to know you're playing. And because these notes are chords, are, how do you know you're playing that? Well, this sounds different than this. Or what, or, so hopefully you can tell you're playing the right notes or not. A uh, few minor little details here, depending on how well you're doing. I don't know. We'll pretend you're doing really, really, really well. You're ready for them. If you're not, you can skip these and maybe get them the second or third time you go through the book. And yes, I encourage you to go through these books multiple times. The dynamics, <clears throat> you're starting out with an MP, however loud that is. I don't know how loud it is. You decide what a medium soft is. And then you're going to grow up to the second measure to maybe an MF. Then the third measure drops all the way down to piano, which is softer than the beginning. So okay, it's you have to decide to yourself how soft you want to get, okay? Second line the same way. It's like an echo. Alright? Third line same way, and it stays soft then until the end of the fourth line.
those those chords are really soft then on the fourth line the fifth line on page 56 you start out in F and then come down and then soft it's like an echo and then 57 same thing first two lines same thing and you get the idea there is an RIT there on 57, the last line there, that means slow down, right? I don't slow down with a metronome, I, you do it yourself. Now again, this is hard for me, maybe it's hard for you, I don't know, but when you're playing these chords, either two notes or three notes, try and get them, all the notes down at the same time. You put your hand in that position and you just drop, right? Try to, it's hard sometimes, especially when you're playing at the extremes, you may have to practice. Just try playing that a few times, try and get the notes down at the same time. So let's go ahead and start. You're going to start with your left hand here on these chords, right hand here on these, and the hands move around all over the place. And if you're going to use pedal, then go ahead and put your hand on the pedal. Three, four times, so I will give you three counts, it was three counts, and we'll begin. One, ready, go. page 57 there is a second part for this that means we can do a duet now in order to do the duet you're gonna to have to be pretty good at playing this because we're not together at all all right uh, for instance the first two measures you're by yourself I'm, I'm not playing on the duet let's try this and let's see what happens so go ahead and put your hands where they go foot on the pedal you want to do the pedal this isn't so much to determine if you're playing the right notes this is where we're actually playing a duet having some fun I hope <laughs> uh, I'll give us three counts and you start you get the first two measures by yourself one ready go one two three one two three one two three Two, three, one, 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 two, three, one. Two, three, one, 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 two, three,
If I were to play this, I, I don't know if there's a recording of this or not, but I think it should go something like this. <clears throat> it's my, my guess at it. <laughs>